Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we are going to take a look at Minuet de Bon Heur by Kanoko Egusa. This is a Japanese book and the title translates to the French Minuet de Bon Heur which literally translated means a dance of happiness. And I supposed if we translated that into everyday English, we would say happy dance. So that's a, a good title for a book that's going to make us feel good. So the covers are, the, this is a little um, thing that comes on most Japanese books when you buy them. So the cover is um, textured and um, kind of like a, a brownie cream and is perfectly colorable. The inside is plain and the covers are, the wraps are white. Well, the back is exactly the same. This is colorable, and we have, oh, it's a different, it's a different one. Inside, oh, hang on, this is what, I, what I'm doing. Oh, no, it's turquoise on the inside. I never even noticed that. And then we have a picture like that. So, Kanoko Agusa is the artist here, and her name is in Japanese on here, so... Or... Yes, that's Japanese. Looked like it was Chinese for a minute. So, we have some sort of introduction to us here, and... Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, um, I just absolutely adore the pictures in this book, so if I say cute a hundred times, I'm sorry, <laughs> it just comes out that way. So we have all sorts of animal pictures. We have realistic ones and we have um, unrealistic animals. Some of them have been humanized and are wearing clothes while others, this is a picture right here, are just realistic animals doing realistic things. A combination of the two in the one book. The paper is beautiful. It's textured. And it is it's not the thickest paper. I've, I've found thicker paper than this in Japanese books, but it's, it's good quality paper. Now, one thing I'm wondering about here is the spine. Yeah, the spine's gonna have to be broken for this to lay flat because it's just a glued binding. Yeah, so that's a little annoying because I mean, this is a double side spread, and the picture just goes straight across. And you're going to have to, like, break the spine there, but after some use, it should be all right. So these pictures are just <laughs> adorable. I haven't colored anything in this because I just got it last month. Seen this picture colored many times. It's just fruit with some crepes. And there are no filler pages in this. All pages are significant. A little 
bag that Japanese books have too. I just kind of like to keep all the ephemera. <laughs> so here we have kind of like a mandala. Um, this is the type of thing that Joanna Basford does. I've got some mer kitties. Oh, there's a Halloween picture. There, so now we've come to a point in the book where it lays flat. We'll see what our next double page spread looks like. <laughs> there aren't any. So there's a Christmas picture. Jeez, ever since it's laying flat, we're not having a double page spread. Now, we could consider this as a wallpaper page, but it has a very large repeat. Or does it even have a repeat? Well, it's top and bottom. No, there is no repeat at all. There we go. Here's a double page spread. And that works across the pages really nice. Yeah, just adorable. Yeah, I'm doing a good job of not saying cute by saying adorable instead. <laughs> There's quite a few food pages in here. That's not something I particularly like to color, but um, it does make for a little bit of a variety from the animal pages, but you definitely have to want to color animals to want this book. And then most Japanese coloring books have a section at the back where it has some useful item. Well, these look like they are postcards. Yeah, it even says postcard on the back. So you can cut those out. And uh, it's the same paper that's been used throughout. Well, it's a teensy bit thicker, but not not as thick as we would normally send a postcard, but there's no reason why you can't send that. Now these are message cards or ornaments. And this is where the back of them is just like that. So, once again, this is Menuet de Bonheur by Kanoko Igusa.